Yeah. I'm and now not going to change it for that because I've got an Xbox One. Been waiting waiting what I use it for. But yeah. Okay. Prepare for the most comprehensive Ooh. deep dive Ooh. we've ever done for the biggest game we've ever built. So sit tight and enjoy. This way you Starfield do it, Steve. Direct. Oh, it's the stuff we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know one last thing. That was weird. I mean, I guess this is the one last thing. Deep right. dive time, baby. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got 10 seconds. Quick review. Out of 10, what would you give that presentation? That was a 10. They just yeah. kept bringing out exclusives after exclusives. Yeah. And they stopped. And they're big titles. The games we've been wanting to see yeah. news on. So, yeah, we're good. I would say i give it an 8. Just yeah. lack of dates, but we could talk about that later. I would give up. Yeah, I've got an idea on dates, though. That's the thing. Music, man. Mm -hmm. Music. So excited for this. I just can't wait to get my own ship. Mm -hmm. oh. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Such a big space penis. <laughs> Game Studios. You know, we've been so it's lucky hard. over the decades to make the kind of games that we love here. And that's thanks to all of you from the Elder Scrolls to Fallout. We love creating these worlds and playing in them just as much as you do. And throughout all that time, we'd often talk about and dream up the space game. What if we could take that feeling of being who you want to be and exploring a new world, but set it in space where you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do. Yeah. And that is Starfield. Obviously, we've come a long way since then with the games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the studio. We've done That's so a beautiful much together, studio. but well, we've never tried to make a game amazing, like this. Today, you'll get to hear from many on the team and see so much of what we think makes our game special. So let's jump in and take a look. There it is. Starfield Ooh. is our first new universe in over 25 years, but it's still a Bethesda Kada. RPG through Kada. and through where you step into a new world and you get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. But this time, it's not just one world. That's what blows my mind. It's just like... That is mental. Imagine like a world the size of because like, choice I of guess, Skyrim. Go, it's not ours. And then it's yours. give you like an infinite number of planets. And yeah. it wasn't until now that we had the technology or the to like, wildlife or the things you're going to see. From the rocks at your feet to the mountains in the distance, to the people and creatures that live in these worlds. That isn't just a backdrop. <laughs> that moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. We oh, realistically simulate Holy crap. galaxy. <laughs> like uh -huh. what? Yeah. Our next generation light I know they've done that with some games that I was No Man's Sky, but yeah, yeah, that's not to this level. Type of star not to this level. The makeup of the planet's atmosphere. We also have an all-new animation me, system. Like St. Louis Arch earlier. And of course, you can play it in third person. Of course. And you can play it in first person. I'm probably gonna do it first. Yeah. And then certain points I'll change the third. Yeah. Like depending on the view. I think we for exploration, I'd probably do third, but, it, but you do combat, I'd go for first. Game yeah. given its scale. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. Yeah. You can collect resources. Lasers. Do a mission and maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. Ooh. Oh. Ah, come back. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. This is gunplay. That's smooth. This looks like it's going to be some smooth combat. Because I always worried about, like, like, the Fallout combat wasn't great. Yeah. I'm interested ah. to see how this feels. It looks like it's going to be good. <laughs> we do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. And you can view all that in your data menu. I this love is the hub up. for you had me you're stuff. Doing, from your skills, to your <laughs> ship, your missions, and your inventory. 
we love to pack a ton of detail in every object. Oh, all of his weapons. weapons yeah, to space suits, now, come on. To food. We just obsess over the details and food. We obsess over that. food. <laughs> when you're done exploring, I'm with him on that one. Back I have also obsessed over food. Your ship. And how delicious it all we is. We have companions and crew you can take with you. Oh, I left me. Vosco here back <laughs> at my ship. Yeah, let's go. Captain Howard. And he can even say your name. Let's head out. Oh, you your seats. Our mission nice. was to convey the wonder and majesty of space exploration, to evoke the romance. I think of they're the nailing it. Of early space flight. I think they've and nailed it. And referring to this mm -hmm. approach as NASA punk. This means a design language where the tech is <gasps> advanced yet still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's a so contrast. Good. That's where the visual interest is. Oh, I love Obviously it. Obviously, the NASA, which is the rigid, hard function over style, and then punk, which is all about style. What do you rate your ship design? You can see that visual <laughs> like, style coming through. Uh, I give it a good ship. seven out of ten. Your ship is your yeah. home for yeah. you and your crew. And like many Could look more like a penis. in our game, it has a slightly retro and analog touch. A bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi. Where it's giving me like news, the Nostromo from Alien. Alrighty. What's the plan? Which honestly, it's, in, in my eyes, is like one of the best designs this for a ship. This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known yep. locations. Backing out further, yeah, sorry, it will be good. all the planets in the system. Obviously, the game is big, and it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life it, on them, it? versus mm -hmm. the many planets that are barren but resource-heavy. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this Whoa. part of the galaxy. Here, you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This uses your ship's grab drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system where we can find the city creatures. of New Atlantis. Whoa. Scale. The scale of that map as well, yeah. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's okay. cargo. Okay. Oh. That's Seems interesting. Sure, so if you've got like illegal goods on your ship, they can scan for it. Oh. And maybe yeah, attack you. what faction you pick, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. In a city like New Atlantis, your eyes are guided upwards to just these boundless, vast buildings. It's the biggest city we've ever made, not just in size, nice. but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a mm -hmm. colony war memorial. It's wow. a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. This it's looks paralyzed. like it's I've got no words, which is really uh, bad for a reaction, it's but it's <laughs> just, also where I'm, just like, I'm just I'm just looking at everything going like, how is this a real game? Uh oh. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. By the it time just looks so them, amazing. Constellation mm -hmm. is sort of seen as this mythical group. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, <laughs> so alien. You shot JR. I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Do we? The artifact. Right. If you could place it on the table here. Oh my god. Look at how it's coming together. The oh my god. A set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. It's definitely an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, the ex soldier and adventurer, now Constellation. Oh, visions. Mateo, the theologian who believes that there's definitely something else out there. Noel, the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege. And Walter, a very successful businessman in the settled Ooh. systems and Constellation's financier. Anything goes as long as you have the money. 
There's also Vlad. There's a guy with money, so you know he's gonna be a bad guy Sam at some point. <laughs> Wait, is that Chuck Norris? The journey you take with constellation. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on water. Many you'll embark yeah. on. The settled systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures for you to uncover. <laughs> oh yeah, excuse me, brother Chuck Norris. <laughs> as long as he's in my party group, I'm happy. Yeah, that's fine. As long as he can kick aliens in the face. Oh, mate, when you catch up to the aliens. The United Colonies is where you'll this find nuts. New Atlantis. I cannot wait. The mm -hmm. September. Major human September, please. In space. The people <laughs> who live here value law. Like discipline and the legacy of humanity whoa they consider themselves the yep. true children of earth nasty. you ever think of joining up with that's a, a very big nasty of the united colonies even get your uc citizenship i know we were joking earlier about all these New games coming out in october the city the but united i colonies. can see why they're avoiding september the city of Sedonia yeah on mars to this day serves as the largest mining facility for the united colonies beyond the united colonies reach you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent yeah. coalition of star systems. Like, I, this is all amazing. This I love everything I'm seeing right now. Space. But I really just want to see like some extended, like just the capital raw gameplay. Is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. Oh, this place is gonna be fire fire vibes. Ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Yeah. Neon started out as a fishing Wild platform, West. but is now mm. known throughout the cell systems as a pleasure city where almost anything goes. If you've got morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. So it'd be other factions then, right? Yeah, yeah. Basically. Well, I think the different worlds will have their own different factions based on the rest of today for our future tomorrow. Everyone has been chewed up and grabbed <laughs> by Neon. Pleasure city, eh? to get yourself killed, all right? Oh. Outside the bounds of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed the, uh, systems outfit explore, that guy was wearing. But these areas are also I didn't really notice. I was too busy looking at all the blood I just saw. <laughs> the great serpent hunger. Oh wow. Yeah, all okay, that place is a bit dangerous then. Yeah, a little bit. In time. A new face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the red mine. Okay. They think the galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. Oh, uh, great. Cultist in space. So we got yeah. space cultists. Yeah, everything you need, right? Just a space cultist. In Starfield, we're looking forward to murdering them all. Settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting for you. A slice of humanity's future. Just give me that raw gameplay. Crimson Fleet, that's the pirates. So, mm -hmm. ready to get out there? Yes. Throughout the galaxy, there are so many things to see and stories to experience. But the most important story is the one that you tell. Now here's the, the question. How long do we have to wait oh, yes. hours in Starfield 2? And I think people are going to be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've made. One of the biggest overhauls was done through our character generation system. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing and matching yeah. all that data, we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters. We use that exact got, system to create all of the characters and NPCs you're going to see in the game. So any character you see almost always is a character you could That's make good. yourself. I love a good customization option. We love diversity hey, and stuff like on. this. Come yeah, on. yeah. Okay. Take it easy. You were Sweet. out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's okay. still out. Is it more unique as well? I you guess. Know who too. you yeah, are? Yeah. New recruit for Argos Extractors. Oh, here you go. Ring any bells? Yeah, I'm, it looks like we're getting any that opening scene. Familiar? Oh, as a character creator. It's a big character creation, you start your right? Character creation yeah, yeah. Journey as though you're cycling through employee. That's records. the artifact you touched it. You'll pick <gasps> from a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll be your starting point. Sweet. Oh, I'm making the fattest guy ever and sending him through space. As you want it to be. This new system space Shrek. More to offer space Shrek, ever yeah. Before. It's also the simplest character generation system we ever had. We let the player get as close as possible to make whatever they want. I can see Sniper spending a lot of hours on various this. various facial morphs mm -hmm. you can blend together, 
the dermesthetic. Not ready for a character to create a stream. Scars, piercings, yeah, pretty much. Cheek settings. <laughs> it's a lot. It's not a game yet. Got to get character creation done. Character creation is more than just how you look. This is also where you start to decide. This is you nuts. That's where oh. backgrounds come in. Backgrounds give you a bit of <laughs> smile <backstory laughs> and start you off with three basic skills. From chef. To dusty. You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. Oh, okay. What's Some great skills. about backgrounds is you never know when yours is going to come in. Okay. You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant talking to some guy, and suddenly you learn he needs a beast hunter <laughs> to help track down a monster. Fine. I probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. Oh, I like We're this. We're also giving you the option to customize your build even further by letting you pick up to three traits. Traits are completely optional. And they come with their own advantages okay. and disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. Buy Victera, buy Victera, buy Victera. <laughs> Is it really, really you? He'll join your crew and he'll give you gifts right. if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. I can't believe I get to stand near <laughs> you. This is amazing. No, I had that enough in Mass Effect. I don't want to have every molecule. My favorite trait. Okay, that guy's creepy. You have to pay some credits yeah, to support I your have parents, it. but they're very sweet and it's really oh, fun dude. to visit them. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I came across some hostile zealots in space, but because I had chosen a trait that made me the same religion as them, I was able to get by without any issues. Oh. That's quite interesting though. You can do that. that gives you a damage buff when your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Choose, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell your story. And if you want to So I love that the, the things that you choose that, that can actually have a what positive you? or negative effect on the way that your game plays, doesn't it? Yeah. Off we go. That's so cool. Another we'll let you discover that. Can you change it up? Uh, well, I imagine when you start it, that's how you start, and like, I don't think you can change your <laughs> history. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, do it. Pull the trigger. It's like I've had enough of you trying to breathe every molecule of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've built the perfect character, that's when your journey can really begin. So we that's what we loved about skill oh, two hours of the game right there. And put them together to create an all new skill system. That's amazing art. Each time yeah. you level up, you get a skill point, which can be With used skill to point. unlock or rank up skills. There's a land octopus. Ranks are unlocked by completing challenges associated oh, that's with that skill. That's quite badass to see. Challenges become increasingly difficult. I'm gonna put so many hours into this. I am basically just gonna be playing this. I think. Yeah. To be honest, is that cool with you, chat? Happy with that? Skill. I think it's gonna be uh, Diablo until this comes out. I like the Xenia yeah. sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. Wait, what? She just say you can boost mind pack. control I'm aliens. I'm boost packing everywhere. Yes, you can. Oh my god. I can have a this game. Alien. So I can get neuro strikes and just punch my way through combat. Hover and shoot him. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, forget the guns. That one's a lot of fun. I'm going punch only. I'm going fist only. I'm going brawler, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm going brawler. I'm very much a stealth player. So, I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. Oh, My favorite dude. part about being stealthy slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie and then jumping out and springing on people whenever possible i like That's to cool. talk my way through situations this area's off limits fine i'll issue you an access card i'm oh more God. of a run and gun player I like doing like, i'm definitely going to try and go stealth but i know it's going to go wrong hey i don't do stuff in general i just get guns and blazing no i love a good stealth game but yeah i can see it going wrong Maybe seven times out of ten. I like blowing stuff up. Just <laughs> grenades everywhere. Yeah. Is that you? Just grenade That's boy. That's basically me. I try yeah. stealth, but I just I can never really pull stuff off that much. I can do sometimes, but I'm much better with a gun in my hand. Oh, that's a good point. I wonder if you can get a pet alien like dog meat. Exploration is a key you aspect control them. of yeah. all our games. <laughs> in Starfield, there are full star systems. I want it. New life, resources, and adventures. Hey, there, Bobby. Our team worked hard to strike a balance between fun 
and realism. Jesus. Well, this is Game of the Generation, right? NASA yeah. The if this is going to be like Skyrim Wars, it's just going to be setting the standard. It, well, this is the thing. This is going to be one of two From things. It either is A, yeah, going to set the standard, or it's going to be the biggest letdown in gaming history. Yeah. But I don't know how it could be. Well, you've seen this right now. It's just... Yeah. They've always been working on this for ages. Mm -hmm. Like, ages. When you leave a planet and head into space... I can understand why they delayed it as well. Yeah, yeah. Because they want to put as much in as they can. Having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. I'll wait. And I don't have to. It's like three months away. Yeah. It's all out there. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity, because whether it's on the surface of a planet, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, I just space, don't know how they're going to do it. You never know what like, you'll how, find. How can the cities be that densely populated and then also talk about entire galaxies to explore? Because that's the thing, said, the technology wasn't available till now, so those they can do it with the current gen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to oh. get a separate PC just to play this. <laughs> Space exploration is possible. Here we go, ship design. Yeah, yeah. Your ship is almost like ain't there, but I'm sure you'll be uh, sorting that out. <laughs> Where's my penis ship? I think you'll be blown the Wang. By the amount of stuff you can do. The USS Wang. <laughs> the USS Wang. Buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. I, that's what I'm looking forward to most. Is just and filling around a bit, making it into it whatever and I want. And it all starts in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy yeah. fighter yes, that's ship. for bounty hunting. <laughs> then you might round out your <gasps> there ship it is. roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. For now, that's though, huge. we're going to mm -hmm. take our starting ship. I mean, you know, I don't like to brag. And make some changes. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking oh, no, about? You can customize and upgrade everything you see here. Okay, so it's a starting and ship. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual okay. systems like your nice. weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter lasers, the ship. Lasers everywhere. Here you can change any oh, from the systems to the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Wow. Adding cowling can nice. change your ship's overall silhouette. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. Nice. You can even See, that's totally design customize I would for. your paint yeah. job to get the exact look you want. The parts <gasps> you choose to build with don't it. just affect <laughs> your ship's stats. As long, hey, if I can just have a long tube with two, you ship. know, spherical <laughs> living areas at the back. Modules for that's all I need. <laughs> or for storing and displaying your weapons. Starfield's in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel oh, to life. every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, I'm gonna build another stroller. It's a big hunking mass. Yeah. Of a good. machine. I'm gonna go for more streamlined. I want like the um, narrow to wide. Our modified sort of shape. Yeah. Yeah. The classic. That's what, so I'm, that's what I mean. Creativity. Before. Your ship can look with guns like everywhere. Almost anything you want. Millennium Falcon. That's it's what I'm building. Odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing <laughs> ships is um, I make them look like animals. Okay. The oh, HMS yeah. platypus, as I called it. <laughs> That's a cool way, did it? Had a, yeah. Like a giant tail to it. Platypus. Wait, what <laughs> is that? I love that. So we've done mechs. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> so it's really whatever your Spires. imagination is. <laughs> well. And while you can build your home among the stars the way you want to. I know we're up to, to primus. You're probably not the only Roll person out. who will call your ship home. That's so cool. Ready this is to amazing. You are, Captain. Engines ready. The frontier is it just ignore it. It just ready, gave them all the side. I just ignored them all completely. Some of the Chuck Norris the example. You can't ignore Chuck Norris. You, on your journey. Yeah. you don't He's ignore Chuck Norris. He just chooses not to listen to you. And they'll always be there when you travel. <laughs> we'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable Chuck skills for your ships and outposts. As well as unique questions. Can we have zero G with her? Some friendships <laughs> might blossom into Easy tiger. I don't know the yeah, I so. option. Loved anyone. So ah, there we go. <laughs> and if you're looking there for a little extra help on your ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Ooh. Got any room on your Chuck ship for chose. someone like me? Nah. You'll also meet potential crew members out in the world. 
I like how you got a different characteristic from the like, traits from the game. Yeah. Assign crew to your ship or outposts, and their unique skills will affect how they run. I'm gonna get as many people as I can. Yeah, yeah. And just they get like the better. Canadians, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. Like from the Starfleet. I would He's take designed Bosco. Don't buff her again. The core <laughs> basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid <laughs> getting shot. You might die. <laughs> I still want to give okay, it so Vasco's awesome. Okay, so Vasco's awesome. So I elongated the limbs. This oh, come on. Why are you buffering more now? -like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much we'll bloodshed. We'll get that, chat. We'll get that. Okay. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. <laughs> the now, humor. Let's take yeah. to the sky. Yeah, it's just... Like, this seems like leaps ahead of anything we've got currently. Yeah. And I think it's like, how have they done it? So much bloodshed. I mean, I was thinking, like, maybe, like, Tears of the Kingdom recently has been, like, one of those kind of moments of, like, how have they managed to pull this off? Yeah. It's like, if they pull this You're off in Starfield... In the cockpit of your very own spaceship. I don't know how anything's going to touch it this year. Pretty much anything. And that is really cool for us as developers. Space that just, yeah, should be just... exciting and dangerous, and you should feel like you're in complete control. Every oh, mine's blown. That's insane. Mm -hmm. We've expanded oh, that sense flying. of control to ship combat. It's not about just ship hitting combat. your triggers to fire your weapons. It's what I'm most looking forward to. It's a complex dance yeah, yeah. between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. I might suck at it, but I want to be able to do it. Power <laughs> yeah, yeah. engines will make your ship faster. Powering up the ground drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. And moving your power to your weapons and shields okay. means you're ready you can... for a fight. Oh, that's awesome. So you can control the amount of, like, depending you on how always be on you your approach the situation. You're not yeah. alone out there. Uh-oh. Okay. Get yourself out of a sticky situation. Unlocking the targeting control system skill will allow you to zero in on you can the specific do that. subsystems yeah. of the, the ship fly. you target. Oh, mate, you can like lock onto certain parts of enemy ships. That well, makes sense if you're going to target the shield generator. Yeah, yeah. After destroying well, maybe you want to ship, take out their weapons. You can loot the remains from your cockpit. You can always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. Ha! Huh. You can also take That's a more cool. personal approach by docking with the enemy vessel and boarding their ship. Wait! Cool. No! Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Add it to your fleet and retrieve what? it at any spaceport. What? Oh. Yes, but baby. Space is way more than fighting for your life. Oh, I'm gonna try and do that every single time. Just like when you're planet side, <laughs> there are plenty of sights <laughs> to see and stops to make on it's the like, way to the adventure. <laughs> Give me the a stuff. Ah, mother flippers. Star yards. <laughs> Walk the halls. Talk to the crew. Maybe get talked into buying a whole new ship. A, a whole civilian new in my ship. Star Let's see about getting you a proper ship, one worthy of you. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic battleship, like the UC Vigilance. Oh, really cool. Or rub elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. Fancy. There are plenty of personal nice encounters tattoos, to be had as well. <laughs> you can hail Thanks. any Dig ship him. you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. I, um, I definitely go like the more piracy huh. routes. Um, so you could you could be a pirate. Ships. I'm gonna board ships. Be a pirate. Be a military. Can get, get drunk. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Build a dick ship. You know, in my cargo hold that I have specifically for sandwiches. I don't want to play the hero, um, but I want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible. <laughs> Some strangers okay. might be looking for a little human connection in the darkness of space. 
Sandwiches. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Oh, Grandma! Some of the best moments are the That's ones so you discover on your own. Oh, there's no multiplayer. The this is just PvE. Yeah. It is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on many adventures. Then realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're human. We yes. thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters. It's in our handcrafted Oh, classes. that is nasty. I am um, so cool to play. Everything I'm seeing, like nothing's maybe like I don't kind of want that in a game. Or, you know, this is for me. everything is perfect. Just this is the game. This is this is me. Give it to me. Uh, this is what I wish No Man's Sky was. Explorers. Yeah. Same. Breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch. And there's no I'm knock on No Man's Sky. Galaxy. The game it actually is is good. We want but you this is. We want you to feel this like I said, this the space oh, game I've wanted. Yeah, this feels like the perfect cross between No Man's Sky and Mass Effect. Yeah. Giving you a massive playground and a ton of toys, and just setting you free. I think this is just that there in mind is like just giving you like a playground to play in. Whoa! If this is as good as it looks, hey everybody, then, yeah, we've this shown is my you so idea. much stuff. Well, we thought we'd just take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put so much detail so cool. into our game worlds, and we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world with our collector's editions. <gasps> and for this game, uh, we've done a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's Watch. Um, this Ooh, is the okay. watch that you actually get in the game that acts as part of your HUD, where it's the compass and then environmental information. It connects yeah. to your phone to give you notifications oh, and other information. And we've also designed watch. this really cool case that it comes with, uh, Eastbun. Nice. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did to watch. Our attention to detail in the game totally translates to this. Inspired by the cases uh, that the used during the Apollo era. A couple of thousand pounds for a watch. Moon. It's got the intricate See. locking mechanism. Authentic, heavy comes with a constellation patch, NATO strap, and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would exist in the world in the Starfield universe. That's so cool. Oh, hey, they have gone this. over it over the over the over the over the top. Oh my god. Oh my god. We actually have something else. You know something that else. Part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware team and together we have created <gasps> this custom oh, I've seen this. edition yeah, yeah. Starfield controller. It's controller awesome. Is now. It is now mm -hmm. you know, our favorite controller. We love this because it's inspired by the actual controls of your spaceship. And not only that, we've created the first ever custom yeah, headset made with custom Xbox. Controller. And, this is controller and a custom headset. That controller. I love that it's got clear triggers. Yeah, yeah. Old D-pad. Um, I kind of wish it was a, you know, one of the elite controllers. Yeah. I get that. The elite controllers need a bit more love in terms of customization. I know you got design labs, but. Yeah. Still. That headset looks nice as well. It's so cool. Every one of our games, we always put so, so much care awesome. into all those little details that breathe life into our world. Is... But Starfield I'm in isn't all. just a Bethesda Genuinely in all. world. It's a Bethesda game. Like, I've always said that galaxy. developers are magicians, but so why go this, this is just straight up witchcraft. Starfield. Yeah. Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. A freedom to experience both the exciting planets and the quiet ones. Scanning a planet before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek at the available resources you can use for crafting. Oh, there's the massive thing that I remember. I think what's just cool, cool about this whole system that we we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but yeah. the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explores. That's that stupid like sending drones Our down system to build the planet yeah. as the player That mini game is annoying. It. We yeah. stitch together block of terrain. After that, we have the system that a scout adds rifle we interested had. locations nice. for the player to explore, creatures to encounter. Okay. 
ore and plants to pick up. It allows us to add that touch of environmental storytelling that Bethesda is known for. Oh! So, creatures have been disrupting our if I'm understanding this correctly, right, all the worlds are procedurally generated, if you could take care yeah. of the cities are so crafted. Were to visit the so you got, you got like central you hubs, I guess, which are the cities, and then like mm -hmm. you say, procedurally generated plants as you're exploring. Yeah, yeah. And the missions on each of those planets, like the buildings on, in the procedurally generated planets will be... Yeah. Yeah. Just Unique experiences curated. for all them. Yeah, yeah. Them. Maybe there'll be like certain rules about each planet, but so they're all similar for everyone. The gameplay for it, man. <laughs> Combat looks so good. It is sick. And you hit their pack in the back, that's it, insta kill. Mm -hmm. I guess the white bars the armor level. Oh! Shotgun slugs, man. It's completely up to you how you want to interact with each planet. Whether you want to explore <laughs> and see what you can find, harvest resources and be on your way, or simply take in the views. With the help of your scanner, you'll chart the uncharted and discover exotic wildlife. Oh. If you have the skills, you can even the guy? figure out that certain creatures and plants, you can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants and animals. You can get experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully surveying a whole system. Oh, nice. okay. but yeah, similar to the No Man's So it's basically No Man's Sky meets these Fallout. We really wanted yeah. to think of them as I'm okay with that. to the environment. We didn't want alien monsters. We wanted native wildlife. Something you've never seen before. We didn't want alien monsters. It shows three or four different when alien monsters. <laughs> All that light is calculated in real time through the it's atmosphere. Like a duck and a thing Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color mm -hmm. to really make it feel more cinematic. It's beautiful. Like every different world, like is just beautiful. It's so goddamn amazing. That's After gonna be my new desktop. You can find a spot to set up a base camp. Screenshot mode. Outpost. It's got photo mm -hmm. mode as well, Almost I believe. Anywhere. I think it has got is photo this, mode. This. Oh my god. I think it has. The habitat modules come in all shapes and sizes. Oh yeah. All so like in seventy six. You can even live in them. Assign crew and companions. As long as it doesn't move anywhere when I come back. Yeah, yeah. And set up extractors to harvest resources while you're away. Something cool we have this time. I think with the lack of multiplayer to worry about, it might be a little bit easier for them to stay where, with, where they are. Yeah. Use a top-down isometric camera, which helps plan out larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves. So that way you can really plan your structures and what the overall yeah. feel of your outpost is. And then when you're on your feet, you can really decorate and fine-tune things much easier. Got the gaming setup in my spaceport. Lovely. <laughs> so cool. You can find the nice little planets to like base some stuff on, and then that's it. I'll be home. I could see, but like, I could genuinely see me just spending like hours just building. Add crafting and research yeah. stations in your outpost Exploring. to utilize any resources you find or already have. Mod your weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sights and scopes. That's all I want. I just want stealth. Larger magazines. A selection of grips and barrels. Different ammunition like explosive rounds. All right, maybe I would have got explosive rounds instead. <laughs> all you stealth players out there will surely need a suppressor. Especially with armor pins. Mm-hmm. Armor piercing with a suppressor? Yes, you please. You also choose to go hands-on with melee weapons. I think it's always a delicate balance between oh. like, what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think crew. we sort of err on the side of like what's fun for the player. With Starfield, oh. we completely oh. overhauled our combat. 
It's more dynamic. Oh. The animations are more fluid. <laughs> nice. It just feels great. Yes, yeah, he needs to cool off. We probably have more mods and more weapons. A guy is <laughs> chilling in the corner. I want to say any other game we've done before. There's a lot of variety. Upgraded gear is just one of the many factors to pay attention to when uh. engaging in combat. You may need to switch things up based on your environment. I Gravity is different for each planet, and boost packs <laughs> are excellent yes, for please. getting around. Oh yeah, I'm going to stealth all the way. In combat. Like a bit of sniping. Like yeah. a sniper or sniping. Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. I'll maybe do that, yeah, just jetpack above them all and just drop grenades. Rain destruction from above! Firing a ballistic weapon in zero like the ecliptic will actually camo push one. you backwards. Hmm. Energy weapons, on the other hand, offer a more stable shooting experience. Okay, that's cool. We also have mag weapons. These are high So lasers more for stable. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so lasers for like zero G and then on planet. Ballistics for on planet. Ballistics, yeah. <laughs> and then whatever that is to just melt everything. What is that? Whether you want to get up Individual barrel targeting. Or you like more compact weapons like pistols and submachine guns. Maybe you prefer something <laughs> Just punch the alien in the face. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I like everything that's around me. They're like, all the weapons, please. A maggot more. That's disgustingly... That zero... Yeah, the zero-G combat looks amazing. You can tell they've put a ton of web, like effort into the combat. Yes, because they knew it was one of the the weaker moments. It, yeah. it was a weak, it was a weak area that they had. Yeah, it was like Fallout and stuff like that. We played it, and it's just like, yeah, it's not smooth. But this, this it's, fluid. This looks so fluid. What is that? Katana. Like an assault. Unique pistol? weapons as well. That's like an exotic. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, it's Destiny. <laughs> You know what? I ain't got a problem with that. If you can get exotic weapons, requests, I'm, I'm game. Yeah. Oh, no, you will be able to. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <gasps> That's a cold badass. You get superpowers. What? Thanks again for that being with us today. We are just so grateful. You can do space the stuff like that. And spent it here. I can be a space, space wizard. Space wizard. I can come from the moon. We could show here. You know, as we play it, we're always sharing these unique and special. Hell yeah, but I love it. That only a game like this can bring. When I think about what makes it special, it really is the people here. This no. game is a reflection of the incredible and passionate team that made it. All of them putting something special of themselves into it. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. I love the way that our final combination of all the new I'm tech has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, the exploration, every biome is different. The word that comes to mind is vast. Mm -hmm. I like to use our photo mode to take There's photo mode. photos. I just love that constant feel yep. of discovery. Yes. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that there's more. May I be spamming I'm that? I'm most yeah. excited about our outpost building systems. This is gonna be so good for thumbnails. My favorite part is every time you step oh, out yeah. on a planet, it's a unique experience. You spent all this time building your ship, and you see it on the landing. Wait, I'm not personally one for let's plays. Gigantic. I could do a let's play in this. You just can't get anywhere else. Oh, quite easy. There's something about seeing a tower over in the distance and going, I know the gravity's low here. I think I can make that jump. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships, audio design, planets, the jump day night cycle. Those details matter to me. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending. Best of obviously i love the robots so someone much. said diplomacy is their best part on a world someone recreate. just say that yeah okay just on. making Lever sure action rocket launcher brain sprout wait what i laugh but some people might find creepy Lever uh, action. Oh, that's right man what? it's the fungus brain sprout I most about the game is the freedom to be <laughs> who you want to be do what you want to do 
It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much bigger scale. On behalf of it just, of it us, just. We can't wait for you to play Star. Take your breath away. I just take like, your breath away. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking this. No, nothing. <laughs> I think it's it's just the wind down now. That is, that is like an incredible deep dive and again I'm so hyped for that right now september 6th i want the watch as well like, yeah i want that kit okay just tell me about this special edition five days early access okay All right, I'm going to go look and see Day how much five that costs. Five days early access, yeah? Yeah, if you get this, like, the super special edition.